In this problem, we're going to look at how to find a half-life given a couple of different details. Given the specific amount we start with, given the specific amount that we're left with, the amount that it's decayed to, and given the amount of time that's passed. So we can use all this information to find the half-life. And the first thing we're going to do is divide the amount remaining, which is 12.5 grams, by the initial amount, which is going to be 100.0 grams. And you convert that to a fraction of one-eighth. Now we look at how many half-lives have passed based on the fact that we have an eighth of a sample remaining. So we'll do our arrow method. We'll start with a whole amount. And our first half-life is going to leave us with half of that, which we'll say is a half. And then we take a half of a half for our second half-life, which is a fourth. We're not quite there yet. We need one more. And then we take a half of a fourth, which is going to be an eighth. And so now we're where we want to be, which means that this is three half-lives. Now the final step here is to take the amount of time that we're given and we're going to divide that amount of time, 21.6 seconds, by the amount of half-lives, three half-lives. And that division gives us 7.2 seconds per half-life. meaning that each half-life is going to be 7.2 seconds. 